Do you own a face covering? Do you wear it to a friend's house? Or when you go to the grocery store? Or maybe when you visit your grandparents? Hi, my name is Jack Riley, and today I'm here to persuade to you guys how important it is to wear a face covering during the COVID-19 pandemic. So, why should you care? Why should an audience of 25 or so college students um, on an online summer speech class care about wearing masks? Well, it is extremely important and I am here to tell you why. Um, obviously, um, COVID-19 has um, affected all of our lives differently. And uh, whether we know somebody who has been affected by it or not, it is important that we all join together in the effort to defeat this disease um, before it gets significantly worse. And we can do that with face masks, I promise you. Um, so before I get into the three main um, issues with the pandemic, I'd like to highlight some background information that I found that I think would be important to highlight um, the importance of mask wearing. So as of today, Sunday, July 26th, there are 15,785,641 total cases of COVID-19 in the United States. That is a extremely, extremely significant number. And I think that um, if there were um, other uh, mask mandates put into place, that number would not be as high. Um, Stanford Medicine learned that about 40% of people who contract COVID-19 are asymptomatic. Asymptomatic meaning that they show zero symptoms, um, although they do in fact have the disease in their bodies. Um, this allows for um, careless transmission, unavoidable transmission. Obviously, if somebody uh, doesn't have any symptoms, they're, they are gonna go about their normal lives. They may go to the grocery store, they may visit a friend, a relative, their mom or dad, what have you. Um, and people who are susceptible, who have underlying health issues, um, have no way of knowing um, whether or not somebody has the disease or not. So obviously face masks are extremely, extremely important when going out in public. Um, I also want to add um, Nina Bay of the University of California, San Francisco mentions masks may be more effective as a source control because they can prevent larger expelled droplets from evaporating into smaller droplets that can travel further. This is extremely, extremely important because if somebody sneezes or coughs who is asymptomatic and those pellets are transferred to somebody who has an underlying health issue, that could be very, very detrimental to them. But obviously, if they have a mask on, those large droplets will be, um, will be blocked by the face covering um, and ultimately slow the spread. So going back to the three main points, um, I want to outline them for you guys. They are what I have found to be economical, political, and social. Those are the three main, main points of um, the COVID-19 pandemic and mask wearing. So first being economical. Um, this pandemic has forever altered the United States economy. Uh, many economists believe that it'll take another 10 years um, for the economy to get back on track to what it was um, pre-COVID-19. Um, and I think, it's, I think it's important for everybody to realize that this is not um, an issue of economics. This is a public health issue. Um, there are a lot of sick people in our country that we need to take care of and that need our help. Um, and uh, without uh, without a public or with a public health crisis, um, you cannot have a functioning economy. Um, the two just they are oil and water; they do not mix well, as we have seen for the past four months. So, the second issue kind of ties into the economic aspect, and that is the political aspect. Um, as you see in the news today, there is a you know a there's the party of the pro mask versus the anti mask. Um, red versus blue, um, First Amendment right uh, versus non-First Amendment right. Um, no matter what side of the spectrum you are on, I think it is important that um, mentioning the asymptomatic effects that you may have or not have um, when you have COVID-19 and the ability to um, be able to spread that disease. Um, the third issue is the social issue. Um, obviously, we have all known and uh, seen that our, our simplest aspects of our everyday lives have changed forever um, due to COVID-19. And I think that um, obviously by, by wearing masks, um, um, that will help us prevent um, from further spread. So um, 
as these are more specific issues, I want to get to the broader aspects of this, um, being the fact that um, I think there's mass confusion in the United States today. Um, obviously, this is a state issue. Um, so one state may have a certain mask order and the bordering state may not have the same. So I think there is extreme confusion among um, American citizens today. And uh, I think um, to help fix this, the United States government needs to enact a federal mask mandate. Um, a federal mask mandate would, um, would force um, anyone that is leaving their home to wear a mask at all times. Um, and, and whatever it is they're doing, um, I don't think it'll affect anybody's lives any differently. It definitely, uh, wearing a face covering uh, in a grocery store for 30 minutes um, just to protect somebody's life um, next to you, um, I definitely think that speaks for itself and how important um, these masks are. So, um, why is this happening, you may ask? Why is this happening to us? Whose fault is it? And uh, what I would say is that although there is no main um, blame, no finger pointing here, um, there is um, there is a crisis and we all, you know, as one are affected by it and we all as one need to deal with it. So um, what are the solutions? I think that you could break the solutions down on two different levels, a national level and a state level. The national level being that one, I believe that um, the federal government should provide more federal funding to states in order to battle this disease. Um, the funding would go towards um, PPE for our frontline nurses, um, masks, if there were to be a national or federal mask mandate put into place to make sure that every person um, has access to a mask. And uh, the second, along with that, would be enabling a federal mask mandate. I can't stress enough the importance of how much I think that would help um, our current situation with the crisis. Um, obviously, you see cases um, like Florida and California that have um, nearly half a million cases on their own. So I think um, if all of those if all of those people were to have masks on, that number would be significantly lower. Um, and then as for the statewide level, I think it's important for people to follow their local county and state guidelines. Um, obviously, this is a um, this is a governor slash state issue, um, and not necessarily a national issue yet. Um, so with the uh, local county and state leadership, I think that um, people will be able to stay up to date and uh, be able to know um, the coronavirus uh, status um, in their own uh, neck of the woods. So that's very important. And then the second statewide solution, I think, would be to um, you have to abide by these guidelines. You know, if if you if the county you live in says that you have to maintain um, six feet of social distancing and wear a mask when you go to the grocery store, then uh, you need to abide by that law. Um, I think that obviously, as we all if we all work together in this, um, we could find a, a common solution. So. Um, obviously that is a very broad solution to a broad issue and there are definitely personal um, solutions that we can all practice together as well. Um, one being a practical tip and the other being common sense. Um, the first two for practical tips I would say is uh, that you need to clean your mask often and that you need to socially distance at large gatherings. And as a common sense tip, I would say, obviously it is very crucial to wash your hands and cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Um, so to reiterate today, this speech was intended to um, persuade all of you the importance of wearing a mask. And I think that each and every single one of you should wear a mask whenever you go out in public, um, whenever you may go visit your grandma or grandpa, people that are more susceptible than you are. Um, I definitely think that this is something that we all need to take um, a big responsibility on our shoulders and we all need to work together as one um, to um, defeat this disease. So uh, to wrap it up, I would like to read my sources. Um, I have seven total sources here. Um, the first being a op-ed written by um, Nina Bay from the University of California, San Francisco. The second being from bbc.com slash face coverings and COVID-19. The third would be from the CDC, the Center of Disease Control and Prevention. Uh, the fourth would be a Mayo Clinic staff. Uh, the fifth would be the um, Stanford Medicine op-ed written five questions, Stanford scientists on the COVID-19 mask guideline. The sixth source would be um, the World Health Organization and the tenth source, or the seventh source, my fault, would be the Texas A&M University uh, COVID-19 study. So at the end of the day, 
make sure you go out to the store and get one of these and put it on your face. And every time that you go out into public, make sure you got it on. Thank you very much.